How you doing, everybody? It's Jonathan McGain. Welcome back to more Pikmin 2. In the last one, we avoided crash landing on this planet. But we came here to hopefully try and collect treasure to repay our debt. In this episode, we're heading back to the Federal Post to hopefully find more treasure. But first, we have things on the screen that you're probably wondering about. The Picklepedia and treasures. So the Piclopedia is basically just a data on enemies, also kind of the creatures, in fact, like here, the Helipozi. So we have, first of all, by default, you have all of those notes. Dwarf Red Bubble, Pensorous, Silicoli, Russus, Spread by Family. I didn't mean to hit data. Although initially identified as a juvenile red bulb orb, groundbreaking new research indicates that this creature is in fact a member of the breadbug family. A close relative of the vanilla breadbug, it escapes predation through mercury. Unique adaptation of the red bulb orb's crimson coloration allows the species to safely commingle such effective adaptation and obfuscation of prey species is rare. Indicating this clever creature is a master of mimicry. And then, once you complete this game 100% in any file, you will unlock Louis Notes. And Louis Notes are a little interesting. For a blissful bisque, commence the entire beast finely and stir it in with a heavy cream. Artichoke hearts and a pinch of black pepper heat slowly until piping hot. Mmm, rich and creamy. Louis just talks about how he eats them. <laughs> All of gives you actual information on them, Louis just talks about how he eats them. You have also the option of pick pick carrots. You can actually just throw these and you can basically just get an idea of how the enemies would react to Pikmin. And then, we have Treasure Horde. Louis doesn't have notes on these because I don't think you can eat a battery. Well, you could, but you shouldn't. <laughs> do not, don't eat batteries, please. That's not a good thing to do. <laughs> but you do have Olimar's notes. We recovered our first treasure. Amazingly, the Pikmin remembered how to salvage it. I can't understand their adorable language, and I don't know what they're thinking. Yet I'm so happy to see them. When I crash on this planet, the Pikmin helped me locate the missing my missing ship parts. In my darkest hour, the Pikmin were there for me. Now that I'm reunited with them, I know everything will be alright. It will. Right? Now there is another part of this thing you can see later. But, uh, like I just said, you can't see him yet. It could still happen later. So, let's go to air construction. And now let's head back into the value of pose. I don't know why it's still telling me new. I was literally just in that. <laughs> Good morning, workers. Wait for another day of toiling for the profit of your company. The Pikmin seem to still be asleep inside the onion. What lazy creatures. No one of the lack survivor skills. Stand beneath the onion and press A to call them out. I don't know why I walked away from it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this Pikmin out. And let's immediately get him on those. I believe there was, oh no, there was not. There was sometimes something up there, but there was none right now. I wanted one of you to go over there. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and leave five Pikmin over here. That was five, right? I think so. Yes, it's five. I can, I can see how many there are there. There's five there. <laughs> go ahead and pluck Pikmin. When you have two Catherines with you, they will both pluck. So we can make it go faster, although Louis is assigned to put me wrong. There we go. And right now we're just going to focus on spurning Pikmin. Because that's really all we can do. <laughs> I 
Night. I'm not bothering to really switch cats right now because there's no real need for it right now. There is still time going on, but right now I'm going to say today at least. The time's not going to be too important. So you there. You there and there. I like good. They actually did get everything. And no. Okay. So now we have those guys bringing those back. I'm going to go ahead and throw the pigment I got up there with me. Seriously, catch up. Throw them up here. I need 35 for that. I already just now got that. I can see that over there is growing. We have these guys now, so let's go ahead and throw these up there. Those guys are on their way back. Still not quite enough. And you see that standing glue into a fire pellet. So that's why I left those guys up there. All right. Just need to wait for these guys to grow. I'm not, I don't really have much to say yet because a lot of the stuff that has changed in this game hasn't happened yet. I do plan on going over them. I'm just waiting for a chance to go over them. <laughs> and get these. Alright, we got everyone. We can now go ahead and weigh this down. One thing you might actually have noticed is different is that you throw Pikmin a lot faster in this game, which is definitely helpful. And draw for bulbs, there is a way to easily deal with them. Throw Pikmin directly on its back, it will die instantly. And before we take that guy out, over here we have an actual. Sp uh, Spotty Bob Bob. So in the last game, the best way of dealing with them was by rushing this bomb. This still technically works, but like I said, you throw Pikmin a lot faster in this game, so throwing at their butt is a lot more effective and safer. Alright, so let's go ahead and collect these. We need 10. And then over here, there's another piece of treasure for us. But we actually don't have enough Pikmin on us at the moment because the other guys are carrying stuff back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these Pikmin here to work on this wall while and have Olimar go back to base and pluck the Pikmin that we're going to be getting. If I can get past his wall, I'm stuck for some reason. Alright. I'm going to pick him back. Like these guys. I forget how much the uh, bubble is gonna give me. Uh, looks like eleven. Huh? Yeah, I, I think I might have counted that wrong, but it was a bit. So maybe we got enough to carry the treasure back now. Let's go and do that. Go 
Come on, guys. Move faster. Oh, and they only took down the bird, the gate. How can people destroy such a massive wall? When master, when master made us ferocious. Louis, I want to shut you on power pigment commanding protocol. Apparently not, Alima. You are failing in your duty as a superior. Allow me to explain. Press A to grab Pikmin and release the throne. Call them into a group of B. Press C to spend the group, point the screen, and press down on the plus to issue orders. Press down on plus to swap Pikmin on treasures and enemies to make them march on a line. I kind of already been doing that, but thank you for saying it anyway. Alright, so let's get these guys on here. And if we go over here, we can actually see something. Interesting. Warm air is welling up from the hole on the ground before you. What could lie on the ground? What is wrong? You both show expressions on your knees. Do not fear, the leader's group of Pikmin will join you. I shall dispatch my research pod too. Approach the hole and press A to jump in. Like you were saying, the, the Pikmin, the leader's squad of Pikmin would follow you. So right now if I went into this, only 25 Pikmin would follow me. So I'm gonna leave these guys here and I will go and grab these guys as soon as he bring this treasure back. And I'll meet them back over there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Move fast, please. Move faster. I'm helping. Go! Ugh. You can see we're already halfway past today. Come on, guys. Go! I just scrap. Alright, now let's go back over to Louie. And we can enter that hole. That's not that inside you should have said. <laughs> so, call them. And, Emergence Cave, enter this hall with your Pikmin. Yes. So welcome to a new feature in Pikmin 2, caves. <laughs> Intriguing, my heat sensors indicate that the hole's interior is warmer than on the surface. And as I suggest, danger lies ahead, but the promise of treasure is tantalizing. If you wish to check underground terrain, press plus to communicate with me. I am not just a ship, I am an all-purpose support pod. So when you're in a cave, time does not move. You can see there is no timer. When we leave, excuse me, sorry. When we leave the cave, it'll be the same time as when we entered it. So let's go ahead and explore. So right off the bat, we have a treasure. Get that back, and we got some new enemies. Snow dwarf ball bobs, I'm saying that right. Apparently my aim is off. Gonna let the treasure over here. Now, when you're in a cave, you there is no onion. So you can't sprout more Pikmin. For the most part. There's the exception, I'll get into that later. 
we also here. We have a surgeon's lump. So what happens if you carry enemies back? Yeah, we're working on that. Make it go faster. How can you possibly consider this beast a treasure? Beasts are incompatible with my secretary. I suppose that was so your fights in my hold. But I do not think beasts will be worth much. So while you can uh, take... Uh, excuse me. While you can take enemies back to the ship, they won't be worth much, so it's not overly worth it. So, I'm not going to be taking these back to the ship for the most part. If I see something we're carrying it, I'll probably just leave it, but... Otherwise, I'm not going to wait too much for carrying Amy's back. This hole appears to be quite deep. My senses indicate more treacherous terrain ahead. Louis, you do recall that you can adjust the camera with Z and up, left, and right on the D-pad, correct? Your expression suggests you do. Excellent. Don't worry, I got and I will follow you. Approach the hole and press Ada into it. So yeah. What you're saying there, even if you don't have all what all your Pikmin with you, regardless, as long as all your Pikmin are alive, they will follow you to the next level. So you don't have to worry about living Pikmin behind while you're in a cave. No one's cell level two. Final no floor. Okay, I got these guys right off the bat. Apparently, my aim is doing terrible. And over here. It is inconceivable that such an immense object has been buried here for so long. The design of the outer shell resembles the surface of the planet that's seen from space. Perhaps this can be used for something other than salvage. But how will we ever lift it? I feel that even 100 red Pikmin will be unable to lift it. You wanna bet? Nope. As you see, we need 101 Pikmin. Which we do not have. We just got these guys. And I don't think that would help. Alright. With these. Alright, they're all gone. And over here, check it out. Astounding, a flower blooms in a cave deep beneath the snowy landscape. Clearly, there's warmer down here than above. Look, the Pikmin are restless. They look as if they yearn to be tossed into the flower. Well, if that's what they want. That's what they'll get. And, guess what? Amazing, a purple Pikmin. It has hair and is quite stocky. It seems very heavy and strong. This kind of Pikmin was not mentioned in your report, Olimar. It must be an entirely new type. Transforming Pikmin by tossing them into flowers? Intriguing. Perhaps there are others. We have a new type of Pikmin, Pebble Pikmin. <laughs> so, as he was saying, they seem very strong. However, Pebble, Pe Pebble Pikmin, although those are very slow, you are the slowest of Pikmin. But, to see an example of the strength, 
As you can see, Pokemon Pikmin, one egg Pikmin, and one Pebble Pikmin, has the power of 10 Pikmin when carrying stuff. They also do twice the amount of damage, or is it twice? Yeah, I think double the amount of damage in, uh, in battle. So they are very helpful to have. So let's go ahead and get all these guys onto this. Just make it go as fast as possible. And you see it's still kind of slow. But that's all we need to do. Like I said, you can't leave them behind in the caves, so don't worry about leaving them behind. So I'm just gonna go ahead and walk out here. Uh, yeah, and then over here. Astounding! Water is shooting out of the geyser with incredible force. Does this indicate that it has enough power to launch you into the air? Push it and press A to try. I dropped my nut chuck. Oh, I need to go that back. Spherical Atlas. There is a device resembling a microchip embedded inside the sphere, retrieving data. Uh, I could only decode a portion of the data, but I did retrieve new geographical charts. I will input this data into my planetary database and name it the Sphere Chart. Press plus to contact me and go to the expression gradient on the radar screen by pressing left on the D-pad. Now that we have this new data, you should explore the, ter the recorded territory tomorrow. Alright. That sound there. We're actually not supposed to be able to hear that sound yet. That's a bit of a glitch in the game. Basically, that sound just means you've collected every treasure on this floor. So, now we have that. Okay, complete. Save. <laughs> yeah, successfully returned to the planet's surface. Excellent decision making, gentlemen. We must celebrate your first successful exploring expedition. You gathered a large amount of data that need in-depth analysis. I shall send a report back to your president tonight detailing your progress. I'm on Louis, since you will explore a new area tomorrow, today's work is done. What? You still want to work? Unacceptable. You may not realize it when you are exhausted. You should take as much needed a much needed rest as you have all the time you need to collect treasure. This is important. In Pikmin 1, you only had 30 days to collect all the treasure, all the basic ship parts you needed. In this game, there is no time limit. You have as much time as you want to uh, repay the debt. Haste makes waste, so take it slow and steady. There's a port.
we went up to 70 Pikmin, we gained 60 red and got 10 pebbles. Baby steps first, all, Ma. Plan well and don't worry about me. Our dad was happy, Koki Tate. Hokey, happy Hokotani savings and loans, after all. Besides, there's nothing less we possess. So, ha! Huh? And with that, next time on Pikmin 2, we're gonna be heading to the Awakening Wood. See you guys then.